On Thursday, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz announced the state will join an initiative started by President Biden to slow COVID-19 cases. Any Minnesotan who gets their first COVID-19 shot beginning today. Hello? I know, Mom, I know. I'm just not 100% sure about it. You're getting it, How am I supposed to put something in my body that I don't know it's 100% safe? Look, people are dying. I know. I know you're vaccinated, but I don't trust it myself. Mom, just give me like a week or two. I'm gonna do my own research, and then I'll tell. Then I'll tell you if I'll get it or not. I don't. I'm not sure about it. Just give me. Give me a second. Let me. Let me do my own research. Okay, okay. All right. Bye. All right. I just arranged the meeting with a doctor to talk about this. What I need to do now is brainstorm some really good questions to ask him. And the best way to do this is to ask other people what their concerns and worries are. Let's do this. Let's go. I need to find out if this vaccine is safe or not. So I'm gonna ask the people what their concerns are, what they're worried about, what makes them feel safe, and we'll see how this goes. How y'all doing? Do y'all have any concerns about the COVID-19 vaccine? I don't, other than we did the Johnson & Johnson one, now they're saying it may not be very effective. Right, right. So you're looking to get like a booster if there is one available? Yes. Okay, thank you guys so much. That's Thanks. it, thank you. All right, that's a good time. Now they felt pretty safe with the vaccine and they're looking to get a booster. All right, now I just need to find someone with concerns about it. Someone who does not like the idea of this vaccine. Uh, have you gotten the COVID-19 vaccine? Yes, I got the vaccine. Okay, do you have any concerns about it at all? No, not at all. No? Awesome. Thank you so much. Right. Appreciate it, sir. Um, have you gotten the COVID-19 vaccine? I uh have. -huh. Uh, do you have any concerns about it at all? The vaccine itself? Yeah. No? I was in the business for a long time. Oh, you were? Yeah. Can you uh, reassure me? So this is a documentary about me, like, in my journey through being okay and safely knowing that I would get the vaccine and mm -hmm. it would be safe. So do you have any tips and advice yeah, for I that? I think people who are concerned that this was rushed through the FDA and it's not a safe vaccine mm -hmm. don't need to be concerned about that. Mm -hmm. there, uh, there were hundreds of thousands of folks and safety and reliability data was very, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that at all. Uh, all right, thank you so much, sir. Really I appreciate it. I'm trying to find what people are concerned about, <laughs> and all people are giving me are good suggestions and good reasons why I should get it. Okay, out of the three people that I interviewed, all of them said that they have gotten the vaccine, and all of them said that I should get it. Let's keep going, let's dig further. Do you have any concerns about the COVID vaccine? Um, well, it's not approved by the FDA yet. Um, it's, in my opinion, still considered an experimental vaccination. Okay. Um, I think for the most vulnerable population, it makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. to take it. Um, but especially younger men, I have a son who's 18 to 24, I do have concerns. Okay. Um, do you have any concerns about the COVID-19 vaccine, sir? Uh, no. No? I'm happy it's available. Do you have any concerns about the COVID-19 vaccine, sir? I don't. You don't? No, nope. uh, thank you guys. All right, I know this is bad, but can I please have someone who does not like the vaccine? Um, do you have any concerns about the COVID-19 vaccine, sir? Well, it's all in the hand of God. Yeah. I believe in my high power, so I don't worry about it. So you, have you gotten the vaccine or no? No. No? Why? Do you, do you have it? I can I believe in my father. Okay. So you feel like you'll be all right if you want you to be? Yes. Yes, sir? All right. Thank you so much, sir. Have a great day. Do you all have any worries about the COVID-19 vaccine? No? Did y'all get it? I got it. You got it? Yeah. Do you feel okay? Yeah. Yeah. And would you recommend for me to get it too? Yes, Emma? Sir. Yeah. You believe in it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Do y'all have any worries about the COVID-19 vaccine? The vaccine? No, we're actually both in trials for it. So we've both had it and we're in the third phase of human trials. I was Moderna. She's in Novavax. Oh. She's 13. So we both had it. That's and awesome. I've been around multiple people that have had COVID. I've never had it. Oh, really? So I haven't had any concerns. Thank you guys for doing that. Yeah. Would y'all recommend it to everybody watching this? Um, 
I would recommend it to most people, healthy people. I mean, there's always side effects with anything and worries yeah. with anything. So I just say talk to your doctor. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you, no guys. Thank you. Do you have any worries about the COVID-19 vaccine? No, not no. at all. Do you have any worries about the vaccine? No. I mean, it's nothing you can prevent. People with the vaccine, they still get tested and positive for COVID. Uh -huh. People without the vaccine still get COVID. So who says it's going to work? Well, that is a good point. People that have gotten the vaccine and people have that are not vaccinated have both gotten COVID. Do you have any worries about the COVID-19 vaccine? Not me. Um, I have an autoimmune disease, so I had to wait for my doctor to give me clearance, but I'm not worried now. Right. And would you recommend it? Yeah. yeah. I think so. I mean, at this point, you're probably going to get it. Better to have a lighter case than, you know, get really sick. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Do you have any worries about the COVID-19 vaccine? Nope. No? Did you get it? I did. Yeah. And you feel safe about it? Yeah. Would you recommend? I would. All right. Thank yeah. you, sir. Do <laughs> you have any worries about the COVID-19 vaccine? Uh, right now, no, I'm fully vaccinated, so um, I do feel good about the decision for now. Um, I'm curious to see where the future brings us with yeah. that, but mm -hmm. I'm okay with it right now. So far, I've been okay with the everything, mm -hmm. no side effects, so I think it's okay for now. And would you recommend people to get vaccinated? I country? would, if you feel comfortable. There you go. Vaccination card, I love it. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I bet the guy will buy wine. Do you have any concerns about the COVID-19 vaccine? Absolutely none. None? None. And did you get vaccinated? Absolutely. And do you recommend everyone getting it? Absolutely. Yeah? All right, yes. cool. Thank you. There we go. Do you have any worries about the COVID-19 vaccine? No. Yeah. Yeah? Did you get it or no? No. Do you, are you worried about it? Uh, if I leave the state, I'll probably get it. Like if I go to Florida, I'll get it. Oh, oh, okay. So you're just not getting it because you're here and you know? Yeah, I, 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 I've been tested nine times for the VA. Oh. Well, why do you not want to get it? Because I don't. You don't trust it? No, I don't trust it. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much, sir. Have a great day. Um, Have you gotten the COVID-19 vaccine? Yeah. Do you trust it? Believe in it? Uh, well, I had about three swabs before. Oh, okay. They, they came back negative. Oh, okay. Uh, but they say... But it's not mandatory. But I just got it just to be on the safe side. Right, right, right. And uh, do you have any concerns about it at all? I hope it works. Do y'all have any worries about the COVID-19 vaccine? Yes. Why? Well, we just had some uh, relatives that had the vaccine and they are in the hospital with COVID. Oh, okay. So you don't you don't think it's effective at all? I don't. I don't really know. I don't know if it's helping. You know, it's helping. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate okay. it. Have a great day. The people that are kind of against the COVID-19 vaccine, they don't want to be filmed. I feel like that's because they don't want to be terrorized by the other side, which I get. They raise some good questions. Let's go. Have you gotten the COVID-19 vaccine? I have. And do you have any worries about it? Not really, no. Not really. What would you recommend people to do? Um, oh, like when it comes to getting yeah, it or not? Not, Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm very in the middle uh, when it comes to that sort of thing. I think, you know, it's your body. So if you decide that you do or don't want it, uh, that's up to you. Um, we do live in free country. So if businesses decide that they're not going to let people in because you don't have it, that's one of the consequences that you face uh, when you make a decision for yourself. Um, I, If it were up to me, everyone would get it. Mm -hmm. um, I personally trust the medical field um, and, you know, We've, uh, I, I feel like I've seen improvement personally with the vaccine. Right. There's less people getting sick, um, so that's my take on it. And what vaccine did you get? Which one? I got the Pfizer. And you feel okay about it? Like after? Yeah, I felt fine. No, uh -huh. no side effects at all. Well, thank you so much. That's yeah. awesome. No Appreciate problem. it. And we're back here after a long day of talking to really random people. It was good to see what people's concerns are. Now I'm writing all these questions down and I'm gonna ask my doctor about this. Now this doctor I'm talking to is a pulmonary care specialist and he's dealt with a lot of COVID cases recently. Let's go. Woo! I just traveled to Charlotte to speak to a doctor about this matter. We are here with Dr. Singh. Welcome. Can you tell us a bit about your background and your job? 
Greetings, I'm, just, I'm Dr. Jaspal Singh. I'm a pulmonary and critical care specialist. Uh, I trained in medical school in Chicago and then did residency in New York and then fellowship at Duke University uh, in North Carolina. Uh, I, when I graduated, I didn't want to leave North Carolina, so we ended up taking a job in Charlotte and I've been here for 14 years. Uh, I specialize in lung health and also in intensive care medicine. So we still haven't found vaccines for HIV and cancer. So how did we develop the COVID-19 vaccine so quickly? The COVID-19 vaccine process has been something that's kind of been in the works for a couple of decades. And so the scientific knowledge there has been in, in play for a number of years. I mean, we knew of the scientific community, when I say we, the scientific community knew of all kinds of potential threats to the human population. And to be honest, as much as we've had a lot of scares in the last 20 years, from Ebola to MERS to SARS to a bunch of things, for the most part, the U.S. and much of the world has been lucky. And so uh, when, the COVID vac- when the COVID-19 um, virus emerged, when the coronavirus emerged, um, the, uh, the, the SARS-CoV-2 virus emerged as a, as a true pathogen, the scientific community worked really quickly. And a number of trials, a number of investigations, and pretty much once the numbers became almost staggering and overwhelming, it was an all-hands-on-deck global effort. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. I don't think anyone's seen anything like this. To develop ca- uh, vaccines, to develop all kinds of opportunities. And there were a number of vaccines early on that were in the pipeline, very early on. And so different mechanisms, different ways of attacking this virus, different ways of using the host or the human body to fight the virus. And so a lot of things came in the, mer- in the works. Just like we also did vaccines, we also did clinical trials. And so a combination of vaccines were the scientific community kind of accelerating, stepping on the gas on a couple of things that really seem to have the most promise. And as you narrow that focus, more data emerges, a couple of leaders came in that play. And I have to say, you kind of get lucky. Well, caught luck or grace or whatever you call it. Um, the scientific community did get a little bit lucky that the viruses not only were effective, but so effective. I mean, the, sorry, the vaccine were effective, but so effective. That was almost unheard of. So. That was exciting. It was an incredible uh, discovery. How do we know that they're safe? Well, we have hundreds of thousands of patients. I mean, bottom line is you take your best guess based on historical information, how you, how, how you make vaccines. We've made vaccines for decades now successfully in other types of disease states. You know, we've eradicated certain diseases because of vaccines. And so the vaccine process and testing is nothing, is nothing new. There's nothing magical about that process. And so then you have to, at some point, test it on people. Uh, from you start with animals, then you, then you go to, to eventually to people. And so once you get to people and you realize, wait, this is actually as promised, and you monitor carefully. Now this, the vaccines here that were made were made with incredible scrutiny. I mean, everybody was looking. And what's interesting is when we made these, it wasn't like many times the, the pharmaceutical industry companies make vaccines and nobody shares the data openly because it's, very, it's a commercial entity. It's something that you want to make a profit off of. But this was unique that the glo- world was sharing the data openly. I mean, to the point of so much transparency that we've not seen this before. Most people that haven't gotten the vaccine just say that they're strong enough to fight off the virus. Is that true? Should they get the vaccine? Or is there like a bigger picture that we're aiming for? Oh, it's a great question. And so early on, many people think there's also a movement award against vaccination. For many people believe that vaccinations are artificial means of protecting your body. Now, that being said, um, statistically, you're probably okay. I mean, if you want to play the odds. But what if you're one of those, you know, one out of 10 people that or one out of eight people, one out of five people, if even let's say the odds are pretty good. 95% 95% chance, let's, say, let's take a 5% chance that you won't get very sick with it. Yeah, odds are good. But if you're one of, those, one of those 20 people that potentially had a chance to basically fight this off, and instead you end up in an intensive care unit, you don't want to wake up to me. You don't want to wake up to see me up in your ICU because that means that you are in real trouble. I mean, it's been awful. From a physician perspective, it's one thing, but as a you know, family member, community member, I mean, to watch your neighbors and friends basically fighting for their lives, and some of them not come off the ventilator, some of them die on your, under your watch, it's been horrible. And I won't, I, won't call, I won't sugarcoat it. It's been probably one of the hardest things in my career. I've signed more death certificates in this last year and a half than my entire career combined to this date. 
And I don't know if people really realize that healthy people, relatively healthy people have died. And I hate to say it, but most of those deaths now are avoidable. Do you have anything to say to a person that's watching this right now who's trying to decide if they should get vaccinated or not? Yeah, don't overthink it. It's such a, it's the right choice. I mean, look in your heart, look in, if you know and open your eyes and open your eyes to a perspective of someone who's seen this tragedy up front and close. Pay attention to those people who've seen this. Go call up somebody who you know who's really suffered the consequences and talk to them. Ask if they want to do over. I'll tell you, I, I still can see the eyes of my patients who've said, Doc, if I had a choice, I'd get vaccinated now. And they're on the verge of life support. Thank you so much for coming here with us. Hopefully this helps a lot of people. If you have any um, doubts about the vaccine, here it is, all laid out in front of you. Thanks so much, Thomas. Thanks for the time. That interview was mad, dude. I'm definitely getting the vaccine. Like, dude, to hear his experiences as a doctor, talking about how he signed death certificates every day, how there's a bigger picture to keep everybody safe, to keep that family safe, how he talked about somebody laying in bed wishing they had gotten the vaccine on a respirator. The looks on their, that's just crazy, man. I'm scheduling my vaccine. To see the perspective of a doctor on this issue, we really don't know what they go through in the hospital every day, trying to save these patients, man. It's, it's mad. I felt like Joe Rogan in there, podcasting. That was cool, that was cool, but dude, come on. We gotta get vaccinated. I have decided to get my COVID vaccine today. Ready for this, guys? This is it. What we've been waiting for. Relax. I'm relaxed. <laughs> this is for mankind. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. There That's goes. perfect. <laughs> Vaccinated, baby. Thank you guys for watching the video. It's been a great journey. I love you, everyone. Get vaccinated. Help out the world.